operation vehicles they will all be handed over today So the parade is on mark time and I should be halting guard after guard. Guard one, guard two, guard three, then guard four. So let's watch this beautiful display, please. Beautiful, please, a round of applause for this beautiful one. Guard two, beautiful. The color party itself now. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a very, very nice display from the parade. What they are doing right now is called, they're taking dressing. They're trying to align themselves well so as to come forward and do the match, um, to, to do the salute. Huh? Review, review orders. Sorry. Parade is going to advance in review order. Wow, a round of applause for them for this beautiful display. A very round of applause for them. Good. Uh, any moment from now, we shall also witness a variety of display. I think first to on the display will be stripling and assembling. We shall also witness combat as well as anti-ambush. Then the commander general is now uh, taking his seats as we witness the the, the combat display. Stripling and assembling is the first. The strip and assembly will show the expertise of the trainees on how to stripple and as well assemble the rifles. So if you are able to stripple and assemble rifle, that shows how combat ready you are. Because at a point in time, 
there could be reasons where you need to put your rifle in order. So if you are able to triple it and assemble it, it shows your expertise. It shows you have been able to learn the rudiments of using the rifle itself. So let's watch keenly and see how beautifully they are going to display this thing they've learned within the period of training here. Let's be snappy about that, please. See how combat ready they are. Not whatsoever that this set of trainees are well trained. No doubt about that. What we are going to witness is tripling and assembling. That shows how combat ready they are. an uncommon approach of His Excellency the Executive Governor of Katsina towards combating this hydra-headed uh, monster that has bedeviled the state for too long is just unprecedented and uncommon. This is what I believe in my own thinking other governors should queue behind him and take uh, a lead. Please, let's watch Kelly and see what they are doing beautiful. They have been timed and as you can see some are able to beat up the time while some are yet to do but all the same. It shows how they are ready in combat. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they are about to assemble. You see, in stripling and assembling, what comes out first is what will go in last when you're about assembling. So it's a reversal of it now. So they are going to put all these things together as soon as they, they are set to do that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You all agree with me that it takes someone who knows it better to do what they are doing. So this is a beautiful one. Please, a round of applause for this beautiful display, please. We have been time. I want to see who is going to win this now. Let's see. Very good. That's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. It takes somebody who knows how to use this weapon to be able to strip it as well as assemble it in points like this. Display, please. A round of applause for that. Thank you so very much. It's a very good display. It shows your expertise. It shows you can be able to assemble and as well triple the rifle. Next, we are going to call up is the combat. The combat. Combat display. Combat match pass. The combat match pass. Combat display. If you are ready, come in.
part of the team. Speedy, please, a round of applause for this beautiful display. You know there are instances where you need to disguise. You don't just, there are times that you need to disguise. His appearance here is telling you that there's a need for these guys in terms of operation. There are places you need to go in, you go as a lady, just to obtain information. What he did now is a kind of recce, for example. You need to go to a place where there are no ladies available, and it needs to be used so as to source information. So in this way he dressed, I bet you, you hardly can know that he's a, a male. So with this, you can be able to source information from even the adversaries. So that is why such is equally um, something to know about. Thank you. I think what we saw was just an eye bag. When it comes to the real situation. Then I think the last display for this segment is the anti-ambush which is very key. Please, can we put hands together for these gallant trainees? I think our glucose level is now normal with this kind of display. But those that are even older will now be thinking how we wish we can do such. And Tambush will be the next display. I think this appears to be counter. We are going to counter ambush. Taking cover. Swiftly. They're going back to the vehicle. You can see the tactics one after the other. Silent drill. You don't need to talk. Please, can we put our hands together for them? Yes, I think we need to support them. We need to pray for them. And of course, thank His Excellency, the Governor, for this. Is Wonderful initiative. Uh, I 
I think having witnessed the display at this point in time, at this point in time we shall be attacking quite a number of and the climax of this gathering will be the speech as well as formal handing over of the equipment. In the meantime, we will first observe the national prayer. Yes, I'm going to take us through the third stanza of the national anthem, which is the So the national prayer, O oh God of all creation, grant us this our one request. Help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed, and so with peace and plenty Nigeria may be blessed. Amen. Awuzbilai Samila Ali Mila Shaitan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Your Excellency, the Commander General, the Executive Governor of Kasna State, Maladuko Marat, the VHDCON, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kasna State, Malam Farouk Lawal Jobe, the Right Honorable Speaker, Kasnesti House of Assembly and other honorable members of the House, especially the House Leader and the Chairman, House Committee on Security, His Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Kasnesti State, Joe Staff to His Excellency. Honorable Commissioner Misha, SA Community Watch, other members of the State Executive Council that are here, Honorable Commissioners and Special Advisors, Principal Private Secretary to His Excellency, Representative of the Royal Highness, Chiefs of the Emir of Kasna, the Yandakan Kasna, and the Mayan Nandaura representing His Royal Highness the Imam of Daura, heads of security agencies that are here, notable among them the Commissioner of Police, the Commander 17 Brigade, Director of the uh, State Security Service, the Provost Civil Defense College of Peace Disaster and Disaster, the head of the correctional services, the state commander, commandant of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, that of the Federal Fire Service, Custom Service, as well as the DG Kasrota Federal Fire Service and the host of others. The acting chairman of the Algon and uh, other heads of agencies and extra ministerial departments, heads of institutions, especially the vice chancellor of the Al Kalam University, other highly respected invited guests for want of time. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. We are indeed grateful as we gather here in such a large number. First, to congratulate His Excellency the Governor as we today we shall witness the passing out of the batch two of the uh, Security Watch Corps. I led my preamble, a solely initiative of His Excellency the Governor. Your Excellency, with your confirmation, first we will offer the opening prayer. At this point in time, it is my honor to invite the Chairman of the House Committee on Security, 
Honorable Member representing Dusama, Honorable Kamis, to please lead us in the opening prayer before we take the welcome address. Honorable Member. Salu an Nabil Karim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Warahim Muhammad wa barik Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama salli ta warahim ta barak ta ala Ibrahim. Wa ala ali Ibrahim fi al alamina inna ka hamid al majid. Ya Allah muna rukun ka dasuna yanka kya wawa. Ya Allah muna ta wassali da ayika muna al kairi. Ya Allah, wannan kukari da wannan gwamnati ta mu take ta jahar katsana karkashin jagorancin malam duk umurwa da Allah ka kare shiga cikin lamarin su Allah ka kare kama mai shi wadannan yara namu da aka yi training ya Allah ka kare tsare mana su Allah ka ba su nasara Allah ka ba su nasara akan makiyanmu Allah ka ba su nasara akan makiyanmu Allah dukkan abin da zan masa matsalar Allah ka da su zuwa a gare shi dukkan abin da zai ba su nasara Allah ka sada su zuwa a gare shi ya Allah mu ranka da suna yanka kyawawa ka kara kawo mana zaman lafiya da aminci a jahar mu da ma ka samu baki da Allahumma anta alladhi amartana bi du'aik wa wa'adtana bi ijabatik fa inna nata'uka fastajib lana ya rabbal alamin Allahumma nashku ilaik Allahumma nashku ilaik Allahumma nashku ilaik Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-amna wa salamata fi wadanina hadha fi wadanina hadha ya rabbal alamin Allahumma hadha amra la yaqa alayk wa zulluna zahirun laka bayna yadayk أمرتنا فتركنا ونحيتنا فارتكبنا ولا يسؤنا إلا أفوك وجودك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين يا أجود الأجودين ويا من ليس كمثله شيء وهو سميع البصير فسبحانك الله وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك أصلا ولك وربك. Thank you. ما شاء الله. Now with this we will be taking the welcome address. So like at this point in time to invite the Rabbuk. Of Internal Security and Home Affairs, Dr. Nasru Maazu, to please deliver the welcome address. Honorable Commissioner, sir. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Katsina State. Malang Duko Umarata BSC MSC P C O N Google Land Katana Your Excellency the Deputy Governor of Katana State Malam Faruk Lawa Right Honorable Speaker Katana State House of Assembly the Chief of Staff Members of the State House of Assembly here present, members of the State Executive Council here present, heads of security agencies, the representative of the area of Katsina and that of Daura, local government chairmen here present, district heads, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise be to Almighty Allah. By His grace, we gathered here to witness the graduation ceremony of 550 Community Watch Co members from Charanchi, Dusama, Kurpi, Musawa, Matazu, Malumfashi, Kafur, Bakori. Danja and Funtua. Indeed, today is another historic day for many reasons. Firstly, it signifies the fortification of our security architecture. It is strong determination and resilience of a leader who is committed by whatever means to bring peace economic development and prosperity to his people. Thirdly, and more importantly, it also a significant day that demonstrates an unwavering commitment by a leader to fulfill his campaign promise of security being the number one priority, being the second priority 
be the third priority, which he addressed in his what we call a model of all other leaders build their future policy document agenda. No doubt, this painstaking commitment by His Excellency has generated a lot of positive outcomes to the extent that Katana State has become a symbol of hope by all the states in the northwestern Nigeria. Now our state has become a paragon of change in terms of a way security is being dealt with in all its ramifications. An approach that is bottom to top in nature, an approach that galvanized citizens to live up to the expectation of their people, an approach that is grassrooted. Our dear state, Katsina, is dazzling by showing the light, the direction, and the pathway of the lasting peace in the entire Northwest region. On this note, Your Excellency, let me welcome each and everyone to this August occasion and pray for a successful graduation and passing out of Katana State Community Watch Co. Batch 2. Thank you very much. May Allah the Almighty make it easy for us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Commissioner Misha. It is now time for a short brief on the training activities of the Kasna State Community Watch Corps. So I'd like to invite the Chairman of the Recruitment Committee, another person than Major General Janedu Sani Bindal retired, to give us the briefs. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Katuna State, Malam Duko Umarata, CON. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Malam Farouk Jobi, the Speaker, House of Assembly, members of the State Executive Council here present, the representatives of uh, Emirs of Kazuna and Daura, our able commanders of security agencies here, our chief host here, the commander of this noble institution, members of the State House of Assembly, chairmen of local governments here present, let me start by expressing appreciation and thank to Almighty Allah who has seen us through the training of these trainees. Let me be short and state that I think the commitment which the Commissioner has mentioned is more than what you know he has said in terms of what His Excellency has done to mitigate insecurity in Katsina State in particular, and even Northwest in general. And at this juncture, I want to appreciate His Excellency for the opportunity given to us, my humble self, my junior brother, my Vice Chairman, Air Vice Marshal Kaita, and members of our company, JUSAS, that train these uh, gentlemen or ladies and gentlemen. I want to state that like what we did in Batch A, we have improved on their training. And the improvement came with what His Excellency, you know, gave us with his ability to listen to advice. I wish to state that, as you have seen, we have trained these trainees in the art of ambush and ambush drills, patrols, intelligence and information gathering, physical training, and 
even some specialized equipment which we advise His Excellency and he didn't hesitate. He approved, they were procured, and training was conducted on those specialized equipment. I will not mention because of the security implications, but I assure you what he has procured is a game changer in internal security management. We are grateful, Your Excellency. We are grateful. Let me add that these trainees are also trained in community policing, community intelligence gathering, and they have been trained how to be embedded into the conventional security forces. When I say conventional security forces, that is their operation with the police, the army, uh, the state security services, the civil defense, and other security agencies. I want to state that with what you have seen and the level of training we have given them, these trainees are going to change the situation in their various communities. On this note, I want to once again thank His Excellency for giving us the opportunity not only to serve in Kazina State, but he spoke to his colleagues in Zamfara and Sokoto, which we have trained their trainees and they are also operational in their various states. And I want to state and thank him again that the governors of Kano and Jigawa have already intimated me that they want us to train their trainees. We are most grateful, Your Excellency. I cannot finish this brief without appreciating the conventional commanders or conventional commanders of security agencies in Kazuna States. The cooperation you have been giving us and the acceptance of these uh, trainees, I think it has gone well and that's why we are achieving success. I want to also appreciate our host, the commandant of this noble institution, uh, my junior brother, Babangira, who was also, you know, my junior in the army. Let me also appreciate the entire commitment of the commissioner, Misha. Uh, let me state that, incidentally, I'm the one that coined that abbreviation of Misha. And I'm sure the Commissioner will appreciate that. We appreciate your cooperation, we appreciate your support, and uh, let me also appreciate the State House of Assembly for the oversight function. Your Speaker, sir, we appreciate you. I want to appreciate my able instructors who have persevered, who have stayed miserably unchanged in the training of these boys. We thank you, we thank you. And finally, let me thank the trainees for their patience, for their commitment, and for their resolve to mitigate insecurity in their various local governments. Your Excellency, I appreciate my junior brother, ABM, whom you are aware is on official assignment in Abuja, said I should also extend his personal appreciation. Thank you and God bless. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that has been retired. Uh, given us the short briefs as regards to the training activities. Now, we will still take one or two short remarks uh, before the speech of His Excellency the Governor, but I'd like to uh, put the speakers on notice that we shall be as brief as possible because for want of time, and then we are having a live coverage of this event so that we finish within the time allotted. So I have provision for Google Message, but uh, by 
arrangement, the chairman of the Forum for Heads of Security Agencies, who is the State Commissioner of Police, uh, is going to speak on behalf of the heads of security agencies that are here. So it is my honor at this point in time to invite the Commissioner of Police, Kasna State, to deliver the good message. Commissioner, sir. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Katsina State, Malam Duku Umar Rada, PAG CON. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Katsina State, Malam Farouk Law. The Honorable Speaker, Katsina State House of Assembly. Honorable Members, Katsina State House of Assembly. Head of Security Agencies here present. Commissioners here present. Our royal fathers, Amy of Katsina and Daura, ably represented, invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Your Excellency, sir, on behalf of Head of Security Agency, Katsina State, I extend our warmest congratulations to the Executive Governor, His Excellency Marlon. Diko Umar Rada, PAG, for yet another milestone. This milestone marks a significant step towards enhancing safety and security of the citizens of state you he sworn to protect. We, appre we appreciate you, sir, for encouraging an effective community policing through this remarkable medium which is tremendous assisting us in discharging our mandate. Your Excellency, sir, it is our earnest prayer that may the Almighty Allah continue to protect you, guide you, bless you, with more wisdom to continue to pile up the appearance of the state in the right direction. Thank you and God bless. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Police. Now, still before the speech by His Excellency, the review officer, I want to grab your indulgence as I invite the Provost of this college, Assistant Commandant General Babangida Abdullahi Dusa, to the vote of thanks. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وهل الأقدة من لساني يبقه قولي أما بعد السلام عليكم Your Excellency the Executive Governor of Kassana State Madam Dukkorata PhD CON My brother Your Excellency the Deputy Governor of Kassana State Malampa Ruk Lawal Jobe, my brother and also my colleague, at one time or the other, the speaker, the chief of staff, other members of the state executive council, members of the state assembly, my colleagues, the CP, brigade commander, air force commander, director SS, Civil Defense Commandant, Commander General Kasrota, other invited guests, once again, Assalamu Alaikum. I've been directed to say thank you, but I think I have to appreciate my governor, who has been doing everything possible to support all the security agencies, particularly our institution. I appreciate him when he came there. I make some complaints and put some requests, which immediately after he went back to the office, he sent officially to remind us that let us put off our request so that he should immediately give an approval to that. Choosing the college to conduct this training 
is a recognition and appreciation of the work of Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. Otherwise, you should have taken it as well. This has clearly shown to all of us that our executive governor is willing and is always wishing to give the best he could to support all security agencies, which we are all happy with this. I think if I said thank you alone, I did not appreciate my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me this opportunity and for giving us this all important and most respected leader as our governor, who is, has a listening ears and has been doing everything possible to listen to the nook and crannies of the state. Whatever we have or we need, once he had it, the next thing is it is done. We thank you so much for that and we appreciate you for that. In appreciation to that, sir, I spoke to my commanding general. I said, people like my governor are people that are supposed to be appreciated nationwide and as such. My commanding general has given me a plaque which I am to present to His Excellency, the governor. On behalf of my commanding general and the entire Nigeria security and civil defense staff, in appreciation of your support to all security agencies in Nigeria. We thank you, we appreciate you, we adore you. We pray may all Almighty Allah make you successful in all your love endeavors. By 2027, I'm not a politician, but I'm, become, I'm becoming one. May Allah give you whatever support you need to succeed yourself, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Now the provost is going to present an award of excellence to His Excellency the Governor. We are proud of the provost because he still remains a member of the pen profession. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, before I invite His Excellency for his speech, I wish to announce that as soon as His Excellency deliver his speech, then we take the national anthem, then a couple of dignitaries here will accompany him to the presentation of vehicles as well as motorcycles uh, to the trainees. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to once again announce that as soon as uh, His Excellency the Governor deliver his speech, then we will take the national anthem, the presentation of the uh, vehicles as well as motorcycle will be the last item on, on our activity today. But then it should be limited to some of the dignitaries. It is to be accompanied by His Excellency the Deputy Governor, the Right Honorable Speaker, members of the State Assembly, as well as the honorable members, heads of security agencies, to mention but few, uh, so that we will make the presentation very snappy. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and uncommon privilege to warmly invite His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kazakhstan State, Malandu Komarurat, the PhD, SUAN, to deliver his speech. Your Excellency, sir. I'm going
Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Speaker, State House of Assembly, and all other House of Assembly members here present, former Deputy Governor, to our staff, members of the State Executive Council, members of the Security Council of the State, the Commissioner of Police, Brigade Commander, Air Force Commander, Director DSS, and other head of security agencies that are here, but I will not mention, I will not forget the commander of this institution that give us the opportunity to train and also to graduate the Katana Community Corps members batch two. Head of departments and parastatals, representative of His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kazuna, and the representative of His Royal Highness, the Emir of Daura, district heads, other important distinguished guests, esteemed traditional rulers, religious leaders, members of the press, proud families of Katana Community Watch Batch 2, most importantly, our graduating community watch corps. Ladies and gentlemen, before I start my speech, I would like to call on all of us to stand up and observe a one minute silence in honor of the departed soul of the former Chief of Army staff and also to pray for the departed soul of our community core members who lost their lives and also other security agency members that lost their lives in this fight. Please, let's observe one minute silence. We may sit down. May Almighty Allah bless their gentle soul. Today, on this momentous occasion, with immense pride and profound gratitude, we are gathered here to celebrate the of the Second Bath Community Watch Corp, but also embodiment of hope, <coughs> unity, and resilience in Katsina State. First and foremost, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you who are graduating today. Your dedication, sacrifice, and commitment to serve our communities are commendable. We thank you very much. You have chosen a path that requires courage and deep sense of responsibility. And for that, we are all grateful. When we launched Katana Community Court Watch Corp over a year ago, we embarked on a journey rooted in the belief that the most effective way to secure our communities is through active participation and collaboration. The community approach was not just a strategy but a vision to empower our people to take ownership of their safety and well-being. The government believes that the community-driven approach better serve as community-driven crisis. The transition from the kinetic focused to a non-kinetic approach to tackling insecurity has always been our objective. 
The government has trained rural communities in hard-to-reach areas to provide first line of defense before reinforcements arrive. We are actively encouraging all communities who wish to participate in our peace in our peace building and self defense program to nominate qualified candidates and partner with the state in our progress toward total security in Katsina State. Over the past year, we have witnessed remarkable successes. Crime rate has significantly decreased in areas where our community watch officers have been active. Communities that were once blocked by fear are now experiencing peace and stability. This is a testament to what we can achieve with a common purpose. The gain of our fight against insecurity have reunited hundreds of kidnapped persons with their families. We have neutralized several bandits. We have neutralized several bandit cells with their leaders and many have sought negotiation with the government. One of our primary objectives was to allow our agrarian society to engage in their agricultural activities this year in peace and security. At the onset of the farming season, we launched a special 30-day operation which allowed farmers to assess their farms and plant their crops. We increased security throughout the season and have launched another special 30 days operation to give farmers root to harvest crops like guinea corn, beans and cotton. Wood security is of paramount importance to the lives and livelihood of our people. But we did not achieve this alone. Our success so far is as a result of synergizing effort with the federal security organizations. By working hand in hand with the police, military and other security agencies, we have enhanced intelligence sharing, improved response time and coordinated approach more effectively. This partnership has been instrumental in cutting insecurity and will continue to be a cornerstone of our strategy moving forward. The Nigerian Air Force has established a quick response squad comprising the best trained personnel to deal with the threat in the state promptly. The gallant Nigerian Army is taking the fight to the bandit in their comfort zone. The Nigerian police are working closely with our communities to neutralize threats. In this collective effort, the role of our traditional religious institution cannot be overstated. Our traditional leaders are the custodian of our culture and the pillars of our communities. This possess invaluable knowledge to the local dynamics and have been pivotal for mediating conflict fostering unity, and similarly, our religious leaders guide us morally and spiritually, promoting values for peace, tolerance, and compassion. In our drive toward a three-tier security structure, we recruited 6,652 ward heads to engage them in the fight against insecurity. We also engage the village and district heads and provide support to them. The imams, ladans, and naivis were also included in the state payroll as part of our holistic approach to community-driven security. I call upon our security watch officers to continue engaging with those institutions leveraging their wisdom and influence to build trust within the communities you serve. Together, you form a powerful alliance against the forces that seek to disrupt our peace and security. As we look forward to the future, I'm optimistic the strides we have made in just one year indicate the potential we have to completely transform the security landscape of our state. 
within continued collaboration, dedication, and the unwavering support of our people, I have no doubt that we will overcome the challenges that lie ahead. To our graduating officers, remember that you are not just guardians of security, but ambassadors of our collective aspiration for the peaceful and prosperous Katsina State. Uphold the high standard of integrity, professionalism, and respect of human rights. Your conduct will reflect not only on you, but also on the entire community watch call. I want to use this opportunity to offer my deepest condolence to the loved ones who have lost their fight, who have lost their life in the fight against insecurity. All agencies have suffered casualties and may have Almighty Allah have mercy on their souls. In closing, I want to express my deepest appreciation to everyone who has contributed to this success, especially those who have trained these members of the second batch of Katana Security Watch under the leadership of General Bindawa retired. To everyone who has contributed to the success, the Federal Security Agencies for their partnership, our trainers for their guidance, families of the officers for their support. Let us continue to work and united in purpose and action. The road ahead may be challenging, but together we are stronger. Thank you, and may Almighty Allah bless us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim al-Umma jahar katana Muna gudia ga Allah Ndeye kao muwana rana Rana da muki kada madda Wa ananda karei Nasaru wanda gomna tinjara katana Taka wa kashi nabiyu Wa ni chewa Abaraka maya zu Muka kaho wana Wana mkwengi ya tasaru Tajahar katana Wada tasa mahalache maya maya muta ni ya Nigeria Wanda muka kada mada kusamu tundubu Tudida sitende shida Ayo kuma chikin izi na ngala Nga ayo muna kada mada kashi nebiu Namu tunda libi yerda hamsunda Aka taukoda kakanana hukumu migu da goma Kama yedda komishina salu ya bayana. O jamaa. Wana aiki da muke yi. Aiki ne wanda muke tunani ze te maka kware da gaske ga al umma. Kuma da galoka chende ya rana saka fara aiki. Munga ga gari minchi ga bada akasamu aharka salu awana jaha. Wana nasara da akasamu batasa bache suka dayi. Na hatu nguyi wa anesa kana suda jami ansaru Na sojo jide ansanda da jami ampali nkaya Na saura njami ansaru wa anasika tema kasa kabada hatu nkai Aka itasamu na saru rinda aka samu ajara katana Na kuma ala umma Wana aiki aiki nena ala umma Jamaa ya kamata magana chiwa wana abuda miki idong ala umma akishi Umayaka mata kuwa ya baada kudu mwishi. Na asha pata, baza ndena pata ba, wana aike mwune bakita ya. Yaka mata, du ili ntema kwanda zami mwa ananda kareda aka kapa adaka communities enda aki pama da masala sarana. Yaka mata ala umma sulika tema kamasu. Da shawara wari da abu wanda du yeka mata. Da kudu mwada du yeka mata abada adu minsa mwana. Zama lafia jaha katana Ba zama lafia gwamna bachi Zama lafia al umma jara katana neba kida Da haka haki nege lemu Matashi sayi Mugache wa munte makamasu Mungkalipa pamasu guiwa Do mimba da kudu muwada yeka mata abada Do mimba sa musa randa yeka mata musamu ajara katana Kamari yeda napata Atake loka chenda nike jawabi aturachi Chewa mwenye sara sara da dama wanda chikin ikuwa ngalla Wana sara sara sika tema kamana Ajara katana mwaka sa mwada minami albarka 
mu muka samu mutanen mu suka iya zuwa gonakin su suka yi noma bakin gurgudan iko kusan a jahar katsina kashi 95 na gonakin da muke da su an noma su a wannan shekarar da ta wuce kuma Allah cikin ikon shi ya bada damina mai albarka ya kalli irin halin da al'umma suke ciki ya ba mu damina mai albarka domin mutane su wadatu da abinci mun yi shiri wanda muka kira special operation wanda muka yi horkon damina domin a bada cikakken tsaro wanda mutane za su iya zuwa su no su shibka abubuwan da suke son su shibka a gonakin su a tsakiyar damina mun sake shirya wani shiri na tsaro wanda shi ma muka yi na kwana 30 domin mutane su samu su gudanar da noman maki a wuraren da ake da matsaloli na tsaro sannan daga ƙarshen nan mun ƙara daukar wani shiri na kwana 30 domin ganin cewa mutane sun girme amfanin sun kai su gidajen su cikin aminci da izanin Allah wa'annan abubuwan suna tasiri kuma mutane suna ganin tasirin da idanuwan su sannan tsarin da muka gani yanzu yana fitowa na matsalar tsaron nan in kuka lura yanzu in banda bangaren jibiya a cikin wa'annan manyan manyan kananan hukumi da ke da matsalar tsaro za ku ga abubuwan sun sauka kakurai da gaske yanzu yan ta'addan nan suna shigowa cikin mu a kananan hukumomin da babu matsalolin tsaro suna shigowa cikin mu a boye sannan suna kaddamar da har har ga al'umma ya kamata mutane da iyayen mu sarakuna da mutane al'umma da shugabanni su kula da wannan sabon tsari da yake fito mana a jahar katsina kuma mu ba da hadin kan ganin yadda za mu yi maganin shi da izinin Allah dan haka muna godiya ga Allah madaukakin sarki da ya sake ba mu ikon kaddamar da wa'annan matasa a yau mu muna godiya ga Allah da ya ba mu ikon ci gaba da rike su da rike tawayene su har ya zuwa ranar da muke yau ba su koka ba kuma muna ga ya mal'umma kamar yadda muke tsari a wancan karar lokacin da muka kaddamar da wa'ancan mu'aikatan tsaro sai da muka tabbatar da duk wanda zai tafi ya tafi da kayan aikin shi ya tafi da bindigar da aka ba shi ya tafi da mashinan da aka ba su sun tafi da motocin da aka ba su na aiki haka kuma wannan karan babu gulugulu duk wanda ka san mun dauka yau ba zai tafi garin su ba sai mun bashi duk kayan aikin da yake bukata ya tafi ya kaddamar da aikin shi ga babu ranan kuna gani wanda za su yi aiki da shi ga motoci nan kuna gani wanda za su yi aiki da shi aka sai musu wanda za su yi aiki da shi kuma insha Allah za mu kula da su jama'a muna da kyau mu taya mutanen nan da addu'a wannan da'a in muka yi musu mun yi makan mu ne na cewa Allah karfin guiwa Allah ya kara musu basira Allah ubangiji ya kara musu juriya da dauriya kamar yadda ya yi masauran a lokacin da aka gudanar da wa'ancan ayyuka muna fatan ubangiji ya taimake su muna roƙon Allah da cewa wa'annan mutane Allah ya taimake su kuma mu sani cewa yadda mu ma muke da ƴaƴa muke da iyaye muke da ƴan uwa haka su ma suke da ƴaƴa suke da iyaye suke da ƴan uwa kuma su duk da wannan duk da hadarin da ke cikin aikin nan suka yadda su zo su kare iyayen su su kare ƴan uwan su kare al'umma jahar katsina so ba mu da wani abu da za mu yi in banda mu yi musu addu'a mu ga cewa wannan aiki da suka kudurci za su yi Allah ya sawware musu Allah ya ba su ikon yi muna kuma godiya ga duka shugabanni na sassan tsaro na jahar katsina saboda irin gudunmuwar da hadin kai da suke ba gwamnatin jahar katsina wajen kawo tsaro da kawo da zaman lafiya a jahar katsina za mu ci gaba da aiki da su za mu ci gaba da taimakawa inda ya kamata mu taimaka har inda Allah ya kai mu kuma muna kokari da cewa jama'a a ba da hadin kai Allah ubangiji ya taimaka musu Allah ya taimake mu Allah ya taimaki jahar katsina Allah ya kara mana zaman lafiya da kwanciyar hankali da gawurtaccen arziki ga al'umma mu halin da al'umma suke cikin muna roƙon Allah Allah ya kara saukaka mana Allah ya kara wadata al'umma mu jama'a mun gode da lokaci da aka samu 
aka zo wurin wannan taro Allah ya maida kowa gidan shi lafiya assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu thank you you are very welcome Tomasu Kamarori a a kwashi please I think his excellency the governor deserve three hearty cheers of the color and the rest of the parade
of vehicles as well as motorcycles so we expect some of the dignitaries to accompany his excellency for the presentation proper
Now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned.